Snake and Scorpion meat are extremely good, scarce resources that few people know how to gather efficiently. I interviewed some of the most skilled gatherers in the BDO community until one of them revealed what I believe to be the most efficient state-of-the-art Chia Ruins rotation that YouTube has ever seen. And I'm going to share it with you. But what exactly makes Scorpion and Snake Meat so good? A quick look at the Central Marketplace tells us that it is constantly sold out despite its high item price. But that doesn't mean you should sell it straight to the market. It's much better to turn the snake meat into freaky snake stew and the scorpion meat into grilled scorpions. Both recipes can be easily sustained with just a few worker notes and minimal amounts of red meat gathering. You can even buy the other ingredients from the market and still make a huge profit. Cooking 3K snake stew is going to net you out around 250 million silver per hour at 850 cooking mastery, 370 million at 1150 mastery, and 550 million at 1420 mastery. Grill scorpion isn't quite as good, but it is still really high up there. The numbers change over time and by region, so if you want to know for sure, plug your values into summer's market cooking sheet. You can find it linked below. I'm assuming that you're cooking with one second cooking time and silver embroidered clothes, not with mastery clothes. Mastery clothes can be an option, but only if you're AFK for a bit longer or you know exactly what you're doing. More about this topic in a separate video later. If these gains look good to you, you might be happy to hear that both recipes can be used as ingredients in other profitable recipes and at the end of the production chain you get Valencia Meals, the most profitable Guru Imperial box in the game. Let's make our way to the gathering location. It's in Dregan below the Chira Ruins monster zone. You can identify it easily by this little curve the path goes. The travel time is a downside to this spot, but it's not as bad with a fast horse. Bring your standard gathering buffs and your gathering gear. Use a magic butchering knife if your mastery is lower than 650 and a Logia, Doster or Manus Butchering Knife if your mastery is higher than 650. The snakes and scorpions are small, so they may be a little hard to see. I'll show a visualization later that makes things easier. Also take note of the kill count in the corner. We will be killing 22 snakes, 11 scorpions and up to 9 boars in the standard version of this rotation. How many boars you gather depends on how fast you are, which depends on your skill and your class. You aren't here for boars, but at the same time, you don't want to outgrind the rotation and idle until the snakes and scorpions have respawned. I suggest you start with 9 boars, as I'm showing you in this video, and remove one boar at a time until you find that you outgrind the rotation. Kill just as many boars as necessary to avoid idle time. I did say that I believe this rotation is particularly efficient. The reasons are that it extends to the two scorpions on a hill, unlike most other rotations. It also skips an inefficient snake most rotations gather. And last but not least, it's doing the pork buffer to avoid downtime. It even comes with a modification for particularly fast moving classes such as Musa. I will show you the Musa extension later. Sometimes, a high efficiency rotation comes with a high skill ceiling. This is one of those times. Do not be surprised if you find that you do not outgrind it, even if you gather little or no pork. It takes a lot of practice. You should use the movement skills of your class frequently whenever they can speed things up. To kill the mobs, it is best to use skills that execute quickly or use area skills, depending on what you need for each monster or group of monsters. Around here is where Garmoth mostly appears from the sky and launches fireballs at you. That's an RNG event and a good reason not to go AFK in this rotation. When Garmoth goes away, there is a chance she leaves a treasure chest behind. The chest mostly contains a bit of junk, like an old pot that you can vendor, or hearts and sharps. But I've heard it can drop Lieber's gloves as one of the rare drops. Don't obsess over it though, mostly it doesn't spawn at all and sometimes it spawns in the ground and you can't open it. 
Jira Ruins with an optimized rotation enables fun, long gathering sessions. You are not as limited by energy compared to when you're gathering red meat or herbs. In most regions, it's better money to gather and cook scorpions and snakes than red meat. And the cooking comes with a lot of cooking experience. Bonus tips. It's quite difficult to kill Boar 4, Scorpion 3 and Scorpion 4 together in one attack. In order for your attack to connect with Scorpion 4, you have to stand on top of the little rock of Scorpion 3, but not too far into it. If your class does not have any skills that reach as far as Scorpion 4, while also killing Boar 4 in the back, you can kill the Boar by Snake 8 instead. The cliff can be quite a time waste if you climb it down inefficiently. Try to use movement skills or a combination of movement skills and attack skills that keep you going instead of locking you in a CC-like animation or holstering your weapon. Each class works differently and I haven't quite optimized it yet for mine, but just keep in mind that this matters. About the Musa rotation, you basically don't gather any boars, but extend in two places instead. There is one snake on a rock that is inefficient to gather on slow classes. And there are two snakes and one scorpion at the end of the road that forks towards a deserted hut. Simply tie these two extensions into your rotation in a way that minimizes travel time. Fast classes like Musa, who want to gather just snake, or just Scorpion can do so in Valencia. You're looking at a rough sketch of what the Basilisk Den snake rotation is like. There is a Scorpion rotation at Pilgrim's Haven too. I linked rotation videos in the pinned comment if you are interested. The Valencia meal series will continue. Watch the Lion video if you haven't, check out the playlist and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Please leave a comment and a like under this video so it can reach more people. I want to thank Zero Toxicity, who was my source for this piece of content, and my patrons, who helped finance some of the important stuff, like editing software and sound licenses. Thank you all for watching, and see you soon.